guys, it's your face here, and this is this week's cruise news. The first bit of news going to speak is that Virgin Voyages has announced the name of its fourth ship, and it is going to be called Brilliant Lady. That is a cool name. They they carry on the lady theme, and yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I think the ship's going to be identical to what Valiant Lady and Scarlet Lady is. But yeah, it's interesting of what their new name is. Also, Virgin Voyages news: Resilient Lady, their third ship, is going to Australia and New Zealand for 2023. It's going to be doing two to 40 night cruises out of Melbourne, which is really interesting. Norwegian Cruise Line has announced this week is that it's cancelled its maiden voyage of its brand new ship, Norwegian Primer. It's due to supply chain challenges. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but obviously they can get the ship ready and they have informed all the passengers on board. And that's very disappointing as it looks an amazing ship. Rumours out of Royal Caribbean this week is that Icon of the Seas is going to have its maiden season to the Caribbean, which makes sense. The sea already said it's going from Southampton to Miami on its first cruise, so why would they not do the maiden season in Miami? Also, if you want to keep up to date with the most recent pictures of Icon of the Seas, you should go over and head over to this Facebook group. It's called Icon of the, sea, Icon of the Seas Icon Class. It's done by this guy Lloyd. I'm not going to show any of the pictures because they're all like tagged by people that he knows or in contact with and literally all the pictures of it being built obviously we don't know what it looks like and we don't know what there's going to be on board but if you want the most like i, I keep looking at it every day because every time there's like a new block and um we're trying to guess what, what, what it is um it all just looks messed with at the moment it doesn't really have like it has they built like the base of it so it's building making shape and i can't wait for them to announce it but go yeah head over to that Facebook group. I'll see if I can put a link in the description. If I figure that away, it will be there. But go ahead over and check that out because it's a really good group. Thank you, Lloyd. This week in my memorabilia collection, I'm going to show you guys these. They are the small cruise ship models. So I have 11 of the big ones, and it is like the thing I collect every single cruise. The small ones I don't have as many, so that's why I'm going to show you them today. But if you want me to show you my big models, I will do a whole video on that because it would take me a longer time. And I'm also adding. Iona and Wanda this year, so I might wait to get those in to then do the video. But put it in the comments below if you're interested. So the first one I'm going to show you is one of my favourite ships, Independence of the Seas. This is this this is a ship that I have sailed on the most. I think I've sailed on it ten times. Uh, obviously, it's come out of the UK for for years. They haven't bought it for a few years, which is sad. But yeah, this is the updated model, as you can see here on the back. If I can get to zoom in, is the sky pad. And then on the front is the mu moved mini golf, which used to be at the back. So yeah, that's a cool one to get. And most of these are Christmas decorations, but I, what most of these I got when I was a kid, and I kind of took them off. Uh, the next one is Celebrity Eclipse. This is where the thing ribbon should be. But yeah, this is a cool little model, and yeah, it's got the signature Celebrity Grass. If you've ever been on a ce Celebrity cel Silhouette class, I think that's what it's called. Um, they have grass on the top of their cruise ships, that's their thing. Now I'm going to show you Navigator of the Seas. It's basically just a bog standard, not really much, not as detailed. The, old, the newer models are really detailed, but if you go back to the 2000, 2013, it literally, like, if you look at the big ones, it's just like green paint everywhere. Uh, but yeah, they're really cool. I like these little models. This is Navigator, it's got like the helipad. So yeah, and then we have Norwegian Escape. That's got the water slides. It's even got it's got the really cool pattern around the what Norwegian do. And yeah, I was only on this cruise for one night. It was if you guys remember, if you were on it, it was the Southampton to Southampton one night. Literally, it just came for just to show it off. And yeah, it was really cool. It was just like a party atmosphere on board. And then the last one I'm going to show you is Adventure of the Seas. Again, if you like, if you really put them side to side, that's what I mean. I think they're identical. I know they're the same class of ship, but like, they they yeah, they are identical. None of them have got their um, updated models. I haven't been on them since then. But yeah, they're, they're a lot cheaper than what you get with the big model. I think sometimes these are like, I haven't bought one for years, like $15 maybe when I, when I bought like Eclipse or Escape, like they're a lot cheaper like because the models nowadays are getting more and more expensive, the one on Virgin was 
sixty dollars, which when I first started collecting them, they were like forty dollars. Obviously, inflation and whatnot, blah blah. blah. Uh, yeah, so they're getting more expensive. So this is sometimes easier to pick up if you just want a cheap little model. Also, I found these cool little things uh, around my house the other day. These are like the casino chips you get on board. I, I, this is five dollars from Independence of the Seas. And but this is the what's this one? This is one dollar from Independence of the Seas. So video. This one's cool. I was on Symphony of the Seas. I spent a little bit in the casino, and if you look, it says it's five dollars. I see one for one dollar on eBay, but I, I can't buy it. It's too much. Look, it's a five dollar chip, but it says ignore go on it. But I think I literally I, there's nothing I can use for this. But I was like, oh my god. And it says like, and it says like 2018, and then on the back it says 2018 Symphony of the Seas inaugural. I thought it was so cool. I literally, I took it straight away. But yeah, this is a little cool thing to. There's one on eBay. For wonder, and I want it. But I might be able to get one when I'm on board in September. Wonder of the Seas has returned back to Europe for its summer season. It hit Malaga yesterday. Uh, I am filming this on Sunday. And yeah, it's only 132 days so I'm on board, I'm definitely not counting, but I cannot wait to bring you guys content and for me just to be on the ship. The last bit of news I've got for you this week is that Disney Cruise Line has announced they're bringing Disney Dream to the UK for the first time. They're doing five cruises round trip and they are doing one to Copenhagen. I was looking at itineraries and they're doing some really cool itineraries, but I've just been to Disneyland Paris myself and everybody knows that Disney does not come without a price. It's an amazing experience what you have when you go to a Disney Moon Park or a Disney Cruise. I personally have never done a Disney Cruise, but I have seen videos. But the one reason I won't do a Disney Cruise is because of the pricing and what I can get for other cruise lines for the same price or even cheaper. I was looking at the prices. So they're doing two four night cruises, one to France, one to Spain. And the cheapest one is to Spain. Uh, this is for two people just the cruise in internal. So I did the cheapest you can get on board. So it, for four nights to Spain is £2,022, which equivalents to £505. Now I, at me, I look at £100 a night, or I look at what it is per night to see if the cruise would be worth it. And £500 a night. I know it's Disney, but... And then they're doing it to France, and that's £2,034, which is £508, which again, it's going up. Um, that is, is an amazing amount. Then they're doing Seven Nights Northern Europe and Norwegian Fields Cruise from Southampton. This is £3,242, that's for Seven Nights, and that's actually £463 per night. So if you want your best per night on this Disney cruise, that is the one to do. Those seven nights to Northern Europe and the Norwegian fjords. And they have now seven nights British Isles cruise from Southampton. That's basically just, you know all the cruises we did last year on Anthem, Virtuosa, and any other cruise line, Iona. This is the cruise that we're doing. You're paying £3,284 for that which is £469 a night just to go around the UK. I would rather than Norwegian Fjords if I'm being honest. Then they have seven nights just Norwegian Fjords with £3,793 which equivalents to £541 a night. That's just the round trips. The one way cruise is ten nights to Iceland, Norway, France ending from Southampton ending in Copenhagen and for 10 nights that is 7,529 let's go to Iceland and Norway They're some amazing picturesque beautiful places but that will cost you 752 pound a night plus that is one way one way and that does not include flights the price I, I, I went to Disneyland Paris I absolutely loved it I love what Disney is like all the experiences I went there for the rides and then the characters going around it's just a cool place to go but that's why I won't do a Disney cruise because it's just extraordinary like I'm, I'm doing Wonder for seven nights I'm in the Central Park balcony and I think it's just just over two thousand pounds and this does not include gratuities mine does uh, this does include soda which mine doesn't have to bomb package but 
yeah, two thousand pounds. Again, this is that's not including my travel to Barcelona, but that's not including my travel to Southampton. So, yeah, is this is why I won't do a Disney cruise because Royal Caribbean, MSC, Norwegian, all do it for cheaper. And yes, you don't get the characters or the experiences, but that's what makes it Disney, and that's why they pay the prices. Do I'm sure these will sell out. They're not actually selling yet. They all say coming soon, so I, I, I don't actually know when they're going on for sale. But I'm sure they're all going to sell out because people love Disney, and um, I love Disney as well. But I, I, I can't be doing it. It's, um, I'm waiting for Icon next year. I love my Icon, but yeah. So yeah, that's interesting news that they're bringing one of their bigger ships because last year they bought Disney Magic. That was their oldest ship. So it's interesting that they're bringing a newer ship because hence why their newest ship is coming out and I think it's going to be in America the time this is. So it makes sense for them to move a bigger ship to maybe the UK. So that's cool news and we will see what all the cruises are like and see how well they sell out for those prices. That is all the news I've got for you this week. Put down in the comments below if you're going to be going on one of these Disney cruises or what you think of the pricing or what you think of it. Put it down in the comments below because I'll be really interested to hear what you guys think. If you like what you see, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I am gaining on that 500 subs, so it would be very much appreciated if you help me out. I'm also on Instagram and on TikTok, so if you want to go give me a follow, the link will be in the description. Remember to join that Icon of the Seas Facebook page. Again, if I find out a way, I'll put the link in the description. And thank you for watching. It's been Shipface there, and I will see you guys in the next video.